In this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect a repeater to your store's product collection and create custom filters for it. To do that, first of all, hover over dev mode and click on enable Corvid. Let the Corvid panel load. Once it is ready, create a new page called private shop. I'm naming it private shop. You can name it anything you want. On this page, I'm going to add a repeater. To do that, go on add list and grids and then choose a repeater of your choice. Now I'm going to fast forward the video to show some formatting. You can format it to as you want and design the repeater to as you want the store to look. After your repeater has been formatted, click on add, click on database and then add a new data set. Click on settings over the data set and then connect a collection under stores connect to products. Once you've done this, click on the repeater, click on connect to data and then connect to a data set stores product data set. After that, inside your repeater, click on the image, connect to data. Now you'll notice that the image is already connected to the data set. You just need to connect to the image source available in the database connected to main media image. All text connects to name. Tooltip connects to name. Click on the first text uh, which will show the product name and click connect to data. Click on name. This will display the product's name. Click on the description text and then click on description rich text. This will show the description over here. Do not add the price because I will show you how to add the price via code. That's all you need to do. Now click on add, go to user input and add an input field. I'm showing you how you can add a search bar and a price filter using a slider. To add a slider, click on add, user input, and then scroll down to find a proper slider. Now I'm going to format it to make it look a little more pretty. After you have finished your designing, click on the button add to cart, connect to data and then link connects to product page URL. After this to start coding the filter, click on dataset1 and Create an on ready handler by clicking on the properties panel on ready function and hitting enter. After this, on the top of the page, write down import and then Wix data from Wix data. Inside your data sets on ready function, start typing repeater1 on item ready create another brackets inside dollar sign item comma item data with a capital D and index after this don't close don't close off the first bracket instead put a equal to sign and then write down the function that it will run when the data set is ready. So to name the price first of all I mean to show the price first of all click on the price text and then rename it to price. Now we'll go into the stores products collection and see what the field key for price is. So here is price this is the field name, but to see the field key, we'll click on view properties. Field key is price with a 
small p. So, first of all, item, then the name of the text element, which is price, dot text is equal to, then item data, dot price. Now, if you also want to show the currency, go back to your products collection and then see the currency field and click on view properties. Copy this and then over here, give a space, add a plus and then give a empty space and then again add a plus and write down item data dot currency. Now let's test this out. Okay, so your products collection is now ready. This is now your custom store. It's showing the product name, description, the price of the product. Now we will code the filter. Code the filter maximize the code panel and give two blank lines and then write let last filter name now write let last filter price write down let space debounce timer with a capital T now code the function for filter by writing function space filter open brackets and inside brackets write down name comma price close it off now write down an if statement last filter name give a quotation mark write down equal to two times name Give a double pip operator by holding down shift and the key located above enter on your keyboard. Then give a space and write down last filter price quotation mark equal to equal to price. Then write down let new filter is equal to wix data dot filter close it off with a semicolon then on the next line write down if name don't close it off and on the next line write down new filter is equal to new filter dot contains now over here you need the field key from the products collection which has the name of the product so let's go in there and the field key is name. Name and then comma name again. Close it off this time. Now the price filter. If price new filter is equal to new filter dot lay, which means the specified the value will be less than or equal to the price that you will select on your filter. Now for the price, the field key is price, we know that. Then price and then close it off. Now run the filter by writing hashtag dataset1 dot set filter sorry set filter new filter close it off set the values which the function just received from the different events now we need to create an event for this function to fire whenever someone starts typing in over here first of all rename the search bar as search bar and then create an on key press handler by clicking on on key press 
plus and then enter now under this start writing if debounce timer this will help the filter to wait for like two milliseconds before it starts running it this will allow you time to write down your query efficiently clear timeout debounce timer then debounce timer is equal to undefined hit a space debounce timer is equal to set time out filter write down the values of the search bar like this this will carry over the value whatever you've written and then price sorry instead of price write down last filter price inside this write down 200 and that's it now before we start testing this let's go on the store and change the product names So I'm going to give three different products, three different names. This name is Shark. And let's name this Bag. All right. So we are ready to test the filter function. Go back to private shop. Click on preview. So the first thing we're going to look for is shark. There you go. The filter is working. If I clear out everything, the list is going to return to its normal position. Now let's search for cactus if I click on actually it shouldn't it should not be add to cart over here instead it should be view product because it will take you to the product page right over here so this is how a search bar works now you can be more creative and add such as a price filter to do that click on slider one and then click on on change hit enter on the first line write down let num is equal to number and inside the brackets write down slider one dot value then run the filter first one should be last filter name and then num let's see if it works okay so let's go ahead and filter by 15 I've written USD on the filter but actually it's INR but it doesn't make a difference because it's filtering by the num numerical value so everything under 15 up until 15 is showing up let's increase it to 20 or let's say 22.5 let's increase it a little more so this is how a filter function works